Neighbors have borne the brunt of the Boko Haram insurgency for close to a decade. The Nigerian military has fought hard to tame the menace until the recent resurgence, the latest of which is the Metele attacks which left many soldiers dead. On the heels of the attack, President Muhammad Buhari called for a meeting of the leaders of the region in Chad Republic. One of the outcomes of the Njamena meeting is the setting up of a defense and security committee. That committee turned in its report at this extraordinary meeting in Abuja. In attendance are the president of Chad, Niger, and the prime minister of Cameroon, amongst others. Today's meeting. President Buhari, who is the chairman of the Lake Chad Basin Commission, says it is a continuation of their joint effort to overhaul strategies towards stabilizing the region. The time has come for the evil of Boko Haram to be brought to a definitive end. I am sure that this summit will take the right decisions in this regard. This is a fight to the finish. We must and we will, by the grace of God, wipe out terrorism from our sub-region. Our military strategy must be complemented by the mobilization and deployment of adequate resources to ensure the reconstruction, rehabilitation, and rebuilding of civil authority, as well as the provision of relief and succor for the affected. The meeting considers the report and its recommendation. After about three hours of deliberation, a communique was read. The heads of state and government renewed their commitment to the fight against Boko Haram terrorists with a view to bringing a definitive end to the insurgency. They affirmed their commitment to the accelerated implementation of the regional stabilization strategy in the areas of Lake Chad affected by the Boko Haram crisis, which was recently endorsed by the African Union Peace and Security Council. The heads of state and government once again appeal to the international community to support their efforts in the fight against terrorism in the region. From Abuja,